everyone, this is Chris Lo Alba. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I do DIY fashion, makeup transformation, and random vlogs. guys we're back again with another DIY fashion video and for today's video I'll be showing you how I turned this leftover fabrics into a patchwork top so if you want to know how I did this top just keep on watching so these are some of the fabrics from the shirts I reformed or resized these are all stuck at my old cabinet the yellow one won't be used because it doesn't have enough space to cut so I did not use it. And I also want my patchwork top to have different shades of blue and also added a black fabric. First step will be making of the pattern and I'll be using this top as a template in creating the pattern. I still use this colander sheets because I can say they're very convenient to use. I fold the bottom of the top to the length I want my patchwork end. You can also measure it to make sure that it's not that short when worn. I fold it at the middle so that we can trace only one side of the top. I just traced everything excluding the sleeve. Once traced, I doubled the lines for it to be visible. I also added a neckline marking for the front body pattern. After that, I'll be using a carbon paper to transfer the markings for our front body's pattern. Make sure that both the patterns are aligned at the edges before tracing the lines. This is an easier way to create your pattern without much process. Cut it right after tracing. This time, I am marking the patterns on how should the leftover fabrics should be placed. I am drawing lines for the division of each patterns. I had to divide it into small bits because I don't have enough fabrics to use. So guys, it will only depend on your own on how should your fabrics be arranged or how you want it to look like. Fabrics will be also dependent too, that's why you have to plan first before cutting your fabrics directly. So I am labeling each bit of pattern so that it's easy for me to identify which is which. I just labeled the front bits with a letter F and a number. Same goes with the back with a letter B and numbers. And then cut them into bits. I'm just cutting the seams of the fabrics to separate them and I also ripped the hem of the fabrics for us to have a larger space while cutting. You can do anything you want while cutting the fabrics as long as you're giving it allowances. When cutting the fabrics, make sure you cut it horizontally. Once you're cutting it sideward, this will give more stretch to your fabric and would result into a very perfect and nice lettuce hem. Also guys, since I'll be cutting two pieces each of the pattern, make sure to pin both pieces right side facing together because once they are separated, the fabrics will look mirrored on both sides. I actually ran out of leftover fabrics and saw this old cardigan which has holes in some parts of it so I used this to add color onto my top since it also has a blue color fabric. Each bit of fabrics should be paired properly so that each side has different color arrangement of the fabrics. 
So here are the fabrics that are cut together. The front are at the left side and the back are on the other side. Next, we will now separate each of the fabrics so that we could pin them together at the raw edges. So I started pinning the back bits of fabrics because I can see that they are easy to sew. We will sew it with a zigzag stitch to form a lettuce hem effect. Fun fact, the fabrics that I'm using are all stretchy. They are all in rib knitted material so that it's easy to make a lettuce hem effect. Rib knitted fabrics are suited for creating lettuce hem, that is why I decided to make one. I set up my machine into a 1.0 stitch length and 3.0 width of stitch. I also did the same thing with my front bodies. We will first sew the pinned edges, especially at the center because they are cut vertically, so I had to sew them first before joining it to the other pieces afterwards. Once everything is sewn, we will now join each half of the front bodies and the back bodies at the middle. Pinning them first to stay in place, making sure that each seams are aligned with each other for it to look nice and pretty. I just do love how the fabrics looked when they are all joined and sewn. So we will also join them using a zigzag stitch. I'm using a black colored thread to make the lettuce hem noticeable. We will now join them at the side and on the shoulders still using a zigzag stitch. This time, instead of just sewing it with the same stitch length and width, I decided to use standard sizes. Also, I sew it with a straight stitch for security and durability. So it will not look the same with the other lettuce hem. It will still look one but not that wavy. Also guys, don't forget to sew the neckline and the bottom with a zigzag stitch. I only fold it for about 1 4 inch for it to be thicker when sewn. I make use of these sleeves from a top which I turned into a sleeveless tank top. So I just trace the opening so that the sleeves fit onto the armhole. I want this top to have sleeves instead of leaving it sleeveless because I want it to look cute and has different style. I also want to use the leftover fabrics but sadly everything was used already so I used this instead. I just leave the hem of the sleeves because it has cute flower designs instead of making it the same as lettuce hem. I'm pinning the sleeves at the opposite side of the top and then sew it with a straight and zigzag stitch. And that's it. Here's our DIY patchwork top from Leftover Fabrics. That's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button for you to get updated once I upload another 
video. See you in my next video. Bye.